Hi guys, we are crafting today. So we have a kit for you guys to pick up. It will be available today, um, the rest of this week and probably next week as well. So come by the front desk, pick one of these kits up. Today we are making leaf hedgehogs and gnomes. So everything you need is in here except for um, a pair of scissors, some glue, and some markers. So if you need any of those materials, please come talk to me. My name's Elizabeth. Ashley is willing to help you too. So um, we will be able to provide those materials for you if you don't have them at home. Um, I am using hot glue today. You don't have to use hot glue. Elmer's glue is perfectly fine or um, some type of craft glue, whatever you have on hand. It's perfectly fine. You could probably even use tape if you had tape, um, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use hot glue because it is my favorite. Um, so in your craft kit, you will have a piece of scrappy booking paper. Um, this is one side and it's actually double-sided. So um, sometimes there will be two patterns, sometimes there'll be a solid color and then a pattern. Um, so you'll have a piece of that. You will have a piece of brown construction paper, a piece of tan skin colored um, construction paper. You will have leaves, all different sizes of leaves. There should be three different sizes here and a button, little itty bitty button. So let's get started. All right, friends, let's get started. We are going to start with our gnome first because that's the easiest. So you have a bunch of different sizes of leaves here. Um, there should be small, medium, and large. You are going to take your largest leaf and that is the leaf we are going to work with. So take all your other leaves, put them aside, take your button, don't lose it, put it aside, take your brown cardboard, or car <laughs> take your brown piece of construction paper, put it aside. So you are going to need your large leaf, your scrapbooking paper, and your skin colored um, tan-ish uh, construction paper. So how this is gonna go is this leaf is going to be the base of our gnome here. Um, I should have brought a pencil. Let me go grab that real fast. Back with our pencil. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to kind of use the leaf as a guide to see how big I want my hat to be. This scrapbook booking paper is going to be your hat. So let's see. I'm going to put it down here. I'm gonna mark it right about there. We can trim if we need to. So that is gonna be my hat. And I am just gonna take this and I'm gonna draw a triangle. I'm just gonna draw a straight line and make a triangle. Now I'm gonna cut it out. And I actually prefer the, the blue side. So I'm going to put that right there. My triangle is not that neat, but that's okay. All right, so I am going to take just a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to put it just a thin little line right there. Now, if you're using hot glue, please be careful. Moms, dads, guardians, grandparents, um, you might wanna do the gluing. And I 
think I glued it to the table. Yep, sure did. All right, so now we are going to draw a nose. So gnomes have round little noses, so I am just going to draw a little oval like that. All right, now I'm gonna put a dab hot glue and put it right in between his hat and the leaf. Now, if you choose the non-patterned side, you have just like a plain color, you can draw on his hat if you want. But there he is, oops, there he is. He's a little gnome. How cute. So now that we have our gnome, we can make our hedgehog. So let's put our scraps to the side here. All right, so for our hedgehog, you want to take your brown construction paper and he is going to need a face. So hedgehogs kind of have a really pointy nose. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to just draw kind of a curve like this, give him a little round nose. And that's gonna be the face of our hedgehog. So let's cut this out. set our scraps to the side. We've got our little um, hedgehog face. Now, what I'm going to do, right now you have small and medium leaves. I'm gonna take our small leaves first, and I am just going to start gluing them together like this. So we have our face, I'm just gonna try to cover what I think needs to be covered, and we're gonna start gluing. And you kind of want them to overlap like that. So I'm just going to keep adding leaves to the back. So I'm starting with my smaller leaves and then um, I'm going to take the bigger leaves for the back. Okay, now moving on to the bigger leaves. Okay, now that I have all my leaves laid out like this, I'm just going to add a few little dabs of hot glue to the back to just make sure it is all secure. Put a little dab in there. So if you're using regular um, glue, I would still, I would go in and try to maybe fill it in and let it dry a little bit. So we're gonna wait for this to dry and cool down. All right, this is pretty dry. So now you're gonna take your button and the button is gonna be its nose. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of hot glue. I'm gonna set the button on there and we're gonna wait for that to dry. All right, now that our button is dry, I'm just going to take a black Sharpie marker and I am just going to draw a little eyeball there. And 
And that's it. You have the cutest little leaf hedgehog. How adorable is that? Now, if you want to make more of these, you can collect leaves from outside. It is the perfect time of year to get leaves. Just make sure that they're dry. I would um, probably go out and get the leaves a few days before you plan on making this and let them sit out and dry um, for a few days. But you can completely, you can totally do this with regular leaves. So we have our cute little hedgehog and our adorable little gnome. So, like I said, these kits are available here at the library by the front desk. No sign up is required. Just come on in and pick one up. If you want to use our curbside service, give us a call. Tell us you want a kit and we will um, meet you at our curbside door and give that for you. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!